Hello, America. I'm an Asian, an Asian American to be exact, a Filipino American if you want extra credit points. You've seen some of us around. We're part of that ensemble cast of that awesome action movie. We're the ones in your high school that you always want to cheat off of. What are you doing? Changing all my answers to the right ones. Okay, class, pencils down. And we're that porn tag you're not so ashamed about. I'm Nico. You look like you need the secret Asian massage. Oh, you know us. Well, you think you know us. And that's why you never ask about us. That's why you don't care about us. Why? You say model minority. I say invisible minority. Afterthought minority. And now it's time to... Uh, I'm sorry, you wanna finish double tapping? Sorry. Sorry. No, 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 no. You look new here. What's your name? Um, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. You know if you meet an Asian guy, there's a 1 in 13 chance his name is Andrew. There's a 1 in 5 chance he's an engineer. <laughs> Let me guess, Andrew. You're from the San Gabriel Valley. You like basketball, boys to men, and BMWs. Andrew. You're like the basic bitch of Asian dudes. <laughs> but we all are, in our own way. Wow, We're this guy's about super rude, rude, right? He's an extremely accomplished speaker. Also, why were you on your phone? I thought we were going to a comedy show, not some wannabe TED talk that I had to take notes for. I mean, I had a best friend in Andrew, Asian dude from San Gabriel Valley. Speaking of the San Gabriel Valley, I just read an article that said that Asians were gentrifying that area. Us? Asians gentrifying? I thought that was a white thing. Now it's us too? That made me realize something. Asian people, <laughs> we like get the sampler platter of racism. We get the mozzarella sticks of being new freeloading immigrants. We get the potato wedges of being communist enemies of the free world. And a few buffalo wings of segregation via internment camps. And now, to top all that, people are saying we get white privilege? I mean, seriously, what other ethnic group in America get to try on every kind of stereotype? We have the whole menu, but like, damn, I'm full. Guys, <laughs> Ollie, great job up there. Thank you. And, and again, sorry for the phone thing. It's just been a crazy day. Um, what are you guys talking about? Ollie was just expanding on his platter analogy. Oh my god, that was so funny. It's not a joke. Right. No, I meant like it, it's a really good observation. Um, I've never thought of things like that. Um, would you say this is exactly why we're considered the model minority? We get it all, but we don't say shit and we don't say shit because no one thinks of us in those individual cases. Exactly. Think about it. Many of us are immigrants, but we don't have the same illegal alien stigma that Latinos have. And we're viewed as foreign enemies dating back to World War II. And now with China and North Korea, but we're not as villainized as people from the Middle East. And we do have a level of privilege due to our high economic status, but we're not scrutinized like white people. And lastly, there are literally laws made to segregate us in the past. But unlike the black community, the effect of that institutionalized racism is not as prevalent in our communities decades later. So no one speaks up for us because on the surface and in those individual issues, other groups seem to have it worse. I'm not trying to play oppression Olympics. Everyone's dealing with their own shit. 
I'm just trying to say that we can literally relate with every type of hate, which gives Asian Americans a very unique perspective in this country. Wow. It's like we're getting silver medals and everyone else is getting golds. <laughs> the Olympics analogy, I thought we were. <clears throat> I'm gonna go say bye to some friends. Um, good luck, Andrew, and I'll see you later. Yeah. Um, uh, later, what, uh, what's going on later? Oh, um, a few of the speakers are just going back to all these places to hang out. Oh, okay, that's, that's cool. I guess I'm down to stay out a little longer. Actually, um, I think we should just call it a night here. Or just call it here. <laughs> uh, well, what do you mean? Uh, we gave it a shot, right? Three dates? Oh. This is over? The, is this because of the phone thing or? No. I mean, yes. No. Okay, look, just because I'm not some stand-up slash spoken word artist on a soapbox, like. I knew I shouldn't have swiped on a yappy. A what? You're a yappy, Andrew. Are we doing nicknames now or? A young Asian professional who acts like a yuppie because all you care about is earning a nice salary and buying a nice car and settling down in a nice suburb. That sounds like a nice, normal person. What's so wrong with that? It's not wrong. It's just safe. Listen, we're just not the right fit. I need to be with someone who, you know, cares more about the world. Hey, I care a ton about the world, okay? I rounded up my last McDonald's meal like a dollar, got myself one of those paper balloon things that hang. That is so not what I'm talking about. Take it easy, Andrew. I'm sure you'll find a nice, yappy girl to match you. If, if I'm a yappy, you're a yippy, young hippie. I mean, seriously, who even uses that word, yappy? Maybe it's what the kids are saying now, like dab or sus or real yachty. She wasn't a kid, okay? She was 22. That's <laughs> still seven years younger than you, man. That's like getting a PhD twice. Whatever, she was cute, and I'm not gonna say no to a match. Still got that college naivete, like she's gonna change the world. Were we like that in college? Hell yeah, we were. Changing the world one soju bomb at a time. Oh my god. Look, Drew, you just gotta date older people, all right? The ones that have given up at all this the hipster shit. That's ironic because the last older girl I dated gave up on me, so what are you saying? It always comes back to Lana, huh? Look, Lana and I were like... Is Andrew sulking about his ex-girlfriend again? Yes, oh. he was. Hey, Melody, Jessica, have you guys heard of this word, yappy, before? Yeah, we're all yappies. What's a yappy? Brett, if he were Asian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we drinking what, yappies? What is that? Whiskey, tequila? Hey, ratty yappies out of me, man! <laughs> Is that not what it is? Oh, Our song! Woo! No, babe, we just got to the bar. I'll be right back. Doesn't it bug you? Brett's dancing? No. Yappy. The way this girl said it made it sound like it was a bad thing. Like, like it's safe. Well, we are pretty safe. Look, we just got $17 cocktails and we're completely fine. And we gotta wake up early to meet mom and dad for breakfast tomorrow. We live a pretty cushy lifestyle, but we chose the safe route because it's what we wanted. It's kind of who we are, right? It's only a bad thing if it's not. You know, if you meet an Asian guy, there's a one in 13 chance his name is Andrew. 
There's a one in five chance he's an engineer. Let me guess, Andrew, you like basketball, boys to men, and BMWs? It's just safe. Andrew, hi. Can I see you in my office for a second? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll be right there. So, Andrew. Uh, sorry it's been so long since your last review. It's just been, ugh, crazy in the office. <laughs> can barely keep up. Uh, anyway, I thought uh, we should check in with each other. Yeah, um, no worries. Great. So, uh, the last time we talked, you were inquiring about a potential change in department. Possible relocation? Uh, that's right. Um, I remember that. Right. So... Unfortunately, we were unable to make that happen for you this year. Oh. Uh, actually, th that's fine. Oh. Great. <laughs> uh, well, then from what I can gather, everything else seems fine for you? Seems like you're pretty comfortable where you are, right? Andrew? Yeah. Comfortable. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching episode one of Yappy. We are so proud to have made this show and I really, really hope that you're excited to watch the upcoming episodes. Now check this out, we actually have a few options for how you can enjoy the rest of the show. Option one, the entire series is free for everyone to watch each week. So if you want to just watch along, we'll see you right here next Wednesday. No signups, no paywall, none of that. The second option is for anyone who can't wait five weeks for the show to finish. Um, if you want to just binge watch all the five episodes right now, you can head over to our Vimeo page in the links below and just buy the whole show for just $10. That's less than a movie ticket. Now, if you're a care holder on the Wong Fu Forward Patreon page, you're actually gonna get some special treatment. For the bronze level, you're gonna get to see each episode one day early. And if you're a silver or gold care holder, you'll actually get access to the entire show right now included in your membership. So sign up today and get this and all the other perks. I hope that wasn't too complicated. Um, we just want to give different options to our fans for how they want to support Wong Fu and our work. Um, we're super grateful for whichever way you choose to watch. Ultimately, we're just working so hard to keep creating high quality content and stories for you all. And your direct contributions allowed us to make Yappy and enable us to make more stuff like this and go bigger and better. So please come back to watch each week, uh, share this show with your friends, even buy it if you'd like, uh, maybe get some Yappy merchandise on our store or sign up for our Patreon page. It all means so much to us. We'll see you guys next week.